What's up guys? It's Ethan Ryder with Soccer for Us Kids. That's you dot s kids. I am today going to have the first ever Soccer for Us Kids recap slash sports video. This is gonna be the slash sports section of those videos is I'm gonna preview the France Belgium game tomorrow. The World Cup game that everyone's gonna wanna watch because it's two top weight, heavyweight teams going clashing together. I've been watching some of the World Cup. I am up here in Alaska, so it is a little difficult at times, which believe me makes me very mad and angry but it is what it is i've watched a couple games i i actually watched the france brazil or the belgium brazil game and i also watched france progress and i think both of these teams are looking very strong and the fact that both of them have to play together before the finals is a little unfair because they've both been very good teams throughout the tournament i do believe that france might have a little bit of an edge just because of the firepower that they have throughout the team and the depth that they do have. But Belgium has some very good depth as well. I think it's going to be really interesting how France can deal with Belgium's insane counterattack. I also think it's going to be very interesting to see how Belgium can like defend France's firepower that they have. I think Griezmann is going to be very important in this game. I think... Giroud doesn't quite give them enough and I think behind him is going to be very interesting. Giroud can do very well with good service but he's going to need that service. I think Belgium are going to have to contain Giroud, Griezmann, Pogba, Matuidi if he plays, Conte, Dembele. We have all these insane players that are playing for France and I think Belgium's front three are going to have to dominate. Lukaku is going to have to have yet another big game like he had against Brazil. Hazard, De Bruyne, both going to have to have big games as well. All three of them are top tier players. I think the game, for me, and my prediction, is going to be France to win. My reason for this is their midfield against Belgium's midfield. I think Belgium's midfield was someone like Fellaini. He can really bully around there. But I just think a midfield of Pogba, Conte, Fakir... Griezmann, whoever you throw in there, whoever's going to be playing midfield for them is going to be a little bit better than the player that's playing for Belgium. And I think that's going to be the difference in this game. I think France will absolutely dominate the midfield, and I think that's all they're going to need. And my personal prediction is I'd say somewhere around 3-1, 2-1 for France. I think Belgium's definitely going to have a say in this game. And I think their midfield and their defense are going to be very important because I think their top three are going to perform no matter what. If they don't, then they have no chance. But if their top three do perform, Belgium could be going to the final of the World Cup. So I think this is going to be a very interesting game. But I believe that France is going to win just because of their midfield and their star talent prow- prowess that they have. And I think it would also be very interesting to see two top-class goalies going at it because goalies have been very important throughout the tournament thus far. And it will be very interesting to see. I can't wait to watch this game. I will be watching it here in Alaska. And hopefully it's going to be as exciting as the build-up is to it. And I believe that France is going to win. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And thank you for watching the first ever Soccer for Us Kids sports video.